Hello again, boys and girls. Now we're going to do math. We're going to continue with addition. However, today is mostly a review and practice of everything you've learned about addition. What is addition? Right, when we join groups together to form a whole new set. And what do we call the two sets or the two groups or the two numbers that we join together? We call them add-ins. Very good. And what sign or symbol in math Let's us join groups together. Write the magic plus sign. We join groups together with the magic plus sign. And after we've joined them together, we want to find out how many in all. How many in the whole new set? And we call that our sum. Very good. We also learned that we can write an addition sentence horizontally going across or vertically going up and down. Good. We've also learned to solve addition problems different ways. We've used our cubes, we've used our 10 frames, we use the number line, and today you're going to practice all of those different ways that we learned. Because often, when you learn something in math, you practice it. It's the best way to understand it and to get good at it is through practice. And it's always good to know different ways to do things. So the first paper that you're going to do today you can use your cubes to help you along, but you don't really need to because there are pictures on the page. You're going to write the addition sentence, so you're going to find the add ends using your cubes if you, along with the picture cubes if you'd like, and then finding the sum. And then on the other side, it's a similar activity. They want you to break it down into what are the add ends, put those add ends into the number sentence, and then write the sum. So this page, the two sides are similar. Okay, the second one has the number line. This one is in your book. And we have to find the missing piece to the number sentence using the number line. So the top always gives you a help, is a helper picture. We want to find the missing add end. So the first add end is seven. So that means they started on number seven plus question mark. I don't know. How did we get to number nine? That's the sum. You're going to find out the mystery here in this math problem. And how do we find that out? Start on seven. How many steps did you take to get to nine? Right, two. So for each, you will write in the missing add-in using the number line to help you. Then on the other side, there are different types of Addition sentence, we have some horizontal and some vertical. And I'm going to do a couple examples with you because everybody's answers will be different on this page. You get to use your own creativity. You will need a red and blue crayon or marker. So the first horizontal number sentence, they don't give us any add-ins, but they do give us the sum. So for this mystery math, they want us to find out and show how can we make eight using two add-ins, and that's why we have red and blue. So how many empty boxes do you think are here? Do you think it's ten? No, it couldn't be ten because then our sum wouldn't be eight, would it? Let's count to make sure it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yes, our sum will be eight, but we want to show how we can make a sum of eight using two different add-ins. So I'm going to start with my red, and I want you to make your own number sentence. Don't copy Miss Sweeney's. This is to show you how. So I'll color in two red, okay, and I'm going to color the rest in blue. My sum is still eight, but I broke it into two groups, and now I'm going to take those two groups and put them in as my add-ins. So how many reds did I use? Good. Two. So my first add-in is two. Plus, let's count how many are blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Making it two plus six equals eight. They want you to show eight 
two different ways. So on your paper, you'll have two where the sums are eight. You're going to show how to make eight two different ways, not the same way and not the same as mine. Okay, then you're going to show how to make a sum of nine two different ways, again, using your red and your blue. Okay, this time I'll color in. We should check and make sure there are nine boxes to make sure our sum will be nine. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I will color in one, two, three, four in red. I'm going to color the rest in blue. I colored in all nine, so my sum is nine, but I need to know what my add-ins are. Let's count how many red. One, two, three, four. My first add-in then is four. Plus, let's count how many blues. One, two, three, four, five. So, four plus five equals nine. So you're going to do two, making a sum of eight, two different ways, and two, making a sum of nine, showing it two different ways. So your add-ins should not be the same for your two. Okay, then we're going to do some vertical, two verticals. And we want our sum to be what? Right, 10. That's why we have a 10 frame. But right now, we have a sum of 10, but we don't have any add-ins. So again, you can use your crayons or your markers, and you're going to show how to make a sum of 10 two different ways. I'll use three as my first add-in. That means the rest will be red. For my second add-in, now let's write our number sentence using our add-ins. This is our data. Let's put it in. How many blues? One, two, three. Three plus how many reds? We know this is right. Five, six, seven. Therefore, 3 plus 7 equals 10. My sum is 10. Okay? So today, this will your, be your practice. And maybe you can go on IXL if you would like more practice. Okay? I'll see you in a little while for religion.